Greetings, my name is Nyawede Gawidlak from Viva Network Zimbabwe. Viva Network Zimbabwe is a network of churches and faith-based organizations in Zimbabwe that are seeking collaborative efforts for the improvement of the situation of children in Harare province and beyond. Since 1999, when the network started in Zimbabwe, it has impacted a number of children adults, duty bearers, systems, and a number of policies and procedures in the nation of Zimbabwe. Viva Network Zimbabwe has four main core areas of focus that include child protection, education support, livelihood support, life skills development, and under these four, many programs are implemented year in, year out. The current projects that the organization is running include one project called Reduce Abuse and Exploitation of Children in Zimbabwe, which is focusing on ensuring that the child protection space is effective, the procedures are effective and fair for children, and that the ground and families and communities in which children are living are fair, are comforting, are welcoming, are protective, and are supportive for child, for, for child growth. We also have another project that is called Protecting Children Through Child-Friendly Churches. The child-friendly churches approach harnesses the power of the church to ensure that churches are agents of change and that they impact the protection, the identification of children at risk, children who have been abused, the rescuing of those children, the restoration, and also the support for, to ensure that children reach their full potential. We also have the Global Youth Platform Project that is utilizing youth in the communities, training them as ambassadors for change and for child protection. We also have Viva Sport, a project which is aimed at building resilience, imparting good values in children and ensuring that children are able to identify situations of risk, to report them and to follow up on their own up until they achieve justice. We also have our Education Support Project which is aimed at ensuring that school dropouts or children who would have dropped out of school or have not gotten a chance to get in school in time are also given another chance to learn. And then after a period of at least eight months to a year, when a child has been assessed, they can be rejoined into the former school and their destinies are unlocked once more. We also have the Pavement Project, which is a project that is aimed at counselling children to ensure that children who have passed through abusive and traumatic situations can be restored once more. We also do capacity building, which is uh, an arm of making sure that parents and guardians are able to fend for their families. These are some of the projects that we are doing. And I would give one example or success story that we have yet. Among the multiple stories that we have, I will touch on one child from the area of Mabuku. This child was being denied access to education because she did not have a birth certificate. A birth certificate is the registration of legal identity in Zimbabwe and one, one who does not use it may not be able to access any primary services or important key services that the government may offer. She repeated grade 7 for almost three times. At the fourth time is when they reached out to Viva Network Zimbabwe through our lobbying and advocacy through our connectivity with the government agencies, duty bearers, as well as other members. We managed to link up this child with the Ministry of Education at provincial level and also with the Registrar General. The child was registered and managed to write for a, to sit for a grade 7 exam. As we speak, she is rejoicing, moving on, she is now in Form 1. It will not go without mentioning that Viva Network Zimbabwe also managed to participate and move or change legislation in Zimbabwe. In the past, fathers would not be able to register their children if mothers were missing. And through advocacy and high-level lobbying, Viva Network Zimbabwe managed to have that law changed. This is a change that affected Zimbabwe as a nation. And we appeal to you that you may join us in prayer that our work may be accepted with little to no challenges in the communities. We also pray, pray that God may come through even to ensure that as we coordinate different stakeholders, government agencies, duty bearers, CSOs, we may 
be found with peace and with favor before God and before men. Lastly, I would wish that we will pray it with us that we may be able to unlock more support, more funding, more resources so that we may reach more children even in the nation of Zimbabwe. Thank you very much and pray with us.